let's do a quick tour around the embroidery functions of the Bernina 560. So when you're in the embroidery area, or maybe you're in the sewing area, you can touch the home button and then toggle between sewing and embroidery. So if you're not there yet, that's how we got to the main menu here. And then you have alphabets, okay? Anytime you get into something, you wanna get out of it, you can use the arrow pointing up and out. If you have uh, built-in designs, there's lots of designs in each of these folders. And then you can, whatever you touch, you can, it'll pull right up on the screen. The other thing we have here is actually your USB stick. So if you have a USB stick in the machine with designs, you can access it as well. And then designs that you save will hang out here in the folder area. Okay, so let's just pick a design. I'm gonna go to folder number eight and pick the pumpkin, kind of a nice fall design for us to work with. So we do have our, over here our hoops. So you can tell the machine which hoop you're actually using and some of the things that we might use for moving the hoop, parking it, or finding even the center of our design or checking to see where the design is gonna stitch within the hoop. So I can actually go around all four corners and see where my design is going to stitch and then back to maybe center there. All right, so over here, you'll notice you don't have a lot of functions showing, but if you touch the little lowercase i next to the design, this is where you can size designs, move your design, rotate and mirror image, or just trash as in clear the screen. Um, so moving a design, you can do it with the knobs. We use these quite a bit within the embroidery part. Go up or down or left or right. Kind of feels like a giant etch-a-sketch. You can also touch the design and move it with your finger. If you go outside the hoop, the hoop will turn red and kind of give you a, an indication you probably shouldn't stitch with the design right there. There's a centering option, so that can bring you right back to where you are. The sizing option, one of my favorites, because at a, at a quick little turn of those knobs, I can make that design even as big as my hoop. Let me see how far that will go. Yes, okay, a little bit too far. 168% bigger. As soon as I get out of here and touch my needle and thread to go stitch, it will recalculate those stitches and it will probably take twice as long to stitch. So because it puts in extra stitches to fill that in, I have perfect density even though it has been enlarged a lot. So another thing is if I want that back to normal size, it says 168%. Easiest way to do it instead of turning the knobs to zero, is just touch the yellow box. Boom. What, back to normal, that's that easy. Rotation is great. I love the fact that it has the 90 degree rotation right inside. So a lot of times, most of the time, I just need to tilt it 90 degrees or keep going, 180, 270, and back to zero. But you do have single degree rotation with the knobs once again. And that's here, yep, you use the top knob for both of those. Since it's at minus eight rotation degrees there, I'm gonna touch that puts it right back to zero, and I'm ready to come out of here. A mirror image, so if you wanna flip a design, you can actually flip it both ways, left and right, and up and down, or turn them off and bring it back to normal. And then the trash can would, are you sure you wanna do that? Sure, and the design's gone, and you can go back and go get, for example, a new design and get ready to stitch. When you are ready to stitch, you can go ahead and touch the needle and thread option, and that will take you to the embroidery screen. All right, when you're done or you wanna come back, you have the uh, little pencil, that's kind of the editing area of your um, embroidery area. And then we also have color information. It says five right now. There's five colors within this little uh, present design. And if I wanna change the colors, I can. I can touch the little picture of a palette, pick a different color, type in my color. There's different color types, Madeira, Isocord, I see lots of different brands in here, and I can put in by number that I want whichever color, and I can change my present to a black wrapping paper if I would so desire to do that. And if I wanted to, I could even save that new coloring, and then I, I wouldn't have to remember it, it would be all saved for me. So those are just a quick little overview of designs and how to move them, size them, get around the screen, and when we're ready to embroider, we will have more options when we get to hooping our fabric and then starting to pick our colors.